Hi, this is Andrew from Andronica.com showing you a couple of things you're able to do in the, the latest version of Sweeter Home as of March 30th. Uh, you'll notice this is something, a simple theme I created using a, a Watchman theme. At the bottom I have a scroller of some of my most commonly used apps. Okay, and then you'll notice the little smiley face that's synonymous with Watchmen. And you're wondering why it might be there. When I click it, it brings up my calendar. You know, and, I, and when I click one of them, it'll uh, bring it up in the calendar and say, Sweeter Home Video Recording, which I'm doing right now. And if you notice, a couple minutes late on it. Alright, so I think it's safe to delete that now. And it brings me back to the screen, and you notice that it automatically updates, so that feature's improved a lot. And then when I want to close the calendar, I just click on that again. Okay, and this is the view of my top screen. You'll notice this has an image of some of the Watchmen in it. You see Rorschach, uh, Ozzy, Night Owl, Dr. Manhattan in the bottom. And you'll see the little logo for Ozzy Mandis. And then if you're wondering why that's there, when I click it, it brings up all of my every app that I have installed on my G1. Uh, I'm able to do this because of the new Springboard feature in um, in Sweeter Home. Uh, Sweeter Home lets you use layers of stuff. So when I go to edit, you'll notice that for the Aussie logo itself, I put that on layer 10. But when I move that behind, you'll notice there's a Springboard hiding beneath it. So any custom image that you have that you want to use as a uh, some type of pseudo launching button, you can use that. All you have to do is put the springboard on level 9 and then put the actual image on level 10. That's what I did. So when I exit out of here, you notice every time you press it, it either brings it up or closes it. And it's something that can be pretty cool. I, I really like this feature. Now, for a more practical instance of using that, okay. Give me one second. A couple of things. But here's another screen on my Watchmen theme for Sweeter Home. Uh, you'll notice at the bottom I have a scroller with some of my common use apps like uh, Wear, Budget Droid, Alarm Clock, Astro, Voice Search, etc. Uh, but the main reason that I created this screen is for you'll notice the little Night Owl button in the corner, in the top corner. When I press that, it brings up uh, my bookmarks, my most common bookmarks for the web. So I browse through there, and I'm going around and say, okay, I want to read what's on Andronica.com. So I click on Andronica, and it, it launches the browser automatically. Uh, here's another screen that I have. This is my contact screen. you notice the uh, image of Dr. Manhattan yelling. Uh, and if you look, you'll notice at the bottom, Dr. Manhattan is covering some of my contacts. I have to scroll up to get to see them. Uh, this is something I did on purpose. If you have any experience with Photoshop or you have access to uh, images with transparency in them, this is pretty easy to do thanks to the layer function. You know, I was inspired by the what was it, the Matrix theme from Lemon, and uh, when I I just thought about that. If you have a lazy Sunday, you know, you some experience in Photoshop and a little bit of imagination, you can do simple things like this. And you know it's my okay, and here we come to a screen with the comedian uh in his Vietnam experience uh you'll notice I have some text messages from my friend when I scroll down, it shows me all of my recent messages up until the past couple of weeks. It goes pretty far back. You can set that to just incoming outgoing whatever, but if you know say i I remember something my friend said. I can bring it up and it'll bring up our entire conversation that we had earlier today. So that's something I really like about SMS. I mean uh, about Sweeter Home. Like I said, the springboard feature is pretty cool and I want to show you one last thing of how it can be useful. Now if someone sees my, my theme right now and says, oh this is pretty cool, I like this image, who did it? I can say, okay, it's by an artist named Cause. And I'll say, I'll click on this springboard and say, this is what he looks like. His his real name is uh was Donnelly I believe he's an artist from Brooklyn he's a contemporary artist famous world over and I'll say here's some of his artwork every time I click one of these little housing icons at the top Sweeter Home is gonna bring up another one of his art pieces 
you'll see here's something he did inspired by the Smurfs here's something by the Simpsons and uh, here's another error that I'm getting but like I said uh, the developer is working very hard to address these I give him a lot of credit he's pretty quick with fixing some problems too Sweeter Home is it's not that stable yet but it's pretty good but basically this just shows you how uh, creativity can be very useful if you have Sweeter Home and once they figure out a way to stabilize it and make some of that creativity transfer over from computers to computers uh, theming on Sweeter Home is going to be really good. It's going to be probably one of the best options out there. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is Andrew from Andronica.com signing off.